Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Dragon Quest VIII. All right, so there are two monsters that I think I can get now that I do want to go get. And let's see. First one is going to be Riverside Chapel, I believe. Need to get across the river. And we want to go down the path to the shore. There should be someone that we want to fight down there. She slimes and brownies appear. Let's intimidate them. There we go. The enemies flee. Get out of here. Alright. Somewhere down here should be... Someone pretty powerful, if I remember correctly. Calamari kids. Let's intimidate them. I like their fleeing animation. <laughs> All right, let's see. Should be around here. So oh, is it going to be nighttime? Yeah, it's nighttime only. All right. Um. time is it, roughly? It is getting to be nighttime. I could try for something else. Eh, be a hike. But it should work. All right. And if not, I'll I'll just rest. Okay. What would be the fastest way? I think the hilltop hut. So we want to go down this way. Get into the desert. It's a shame that there isn't a closer spot. All right, a rock bomb. I do want to fight you. Because there is something that uh, you can drop. Then again, intimidating them would also work, but... 70 experience points, 11 gold coins. There's more than one. We'll try intimidating, see if that works. Yeah, going straight ahead I think will be good. Alright. Didn't realize that I was going to fall down there, but <laughs> that's perfectly fine. There really is no fall damage in this game. Partly because you can't fall very far in most situations. That's kind of how you can know that you're overleveled. Because we were just through here, and we're intimidating these guys. Swing this way. Okay. 
bypass the cave. Oh. Ding. Dinner served. All right, you made a, a bunch of rose root. All obtains the rose root. I actually have no idea what that does. Um. Keep making some more of those, because we need more of those for various things. Hi, Pupper. Mud mannequins. Alright, let's go ahead and intimidate them again. <laughs> I, I do love the fleeing animation for some of these enemies. <laughs> They're just... This just really amused me because they they run off backwards. It, it is kind of awkward. I don't want to go this way. Yeah, so it should be nighttime by the time we we get the one that we want, which I don't think has a time frame, so which is good. Pink pongos. You know, I don't think the fencing foxes have been in another mainline uh, Dragon Quest game. I was just thinking about that. I'm not sure if those guys have been in others either. Alright, I think I need to... Yeah, I need to go up around this way. So we saw an enemy all the way down at the end of this peninsula. I do want to fight more of these guys eventually, but for now... Let's scatter them. Alright, now... Go this way. Diablos. Let's go ahead and intimidate them. Yep, that works. It's interesting how some of them will uh, turn around, turn and flee, and others moonwalk out. There we go. Fall down there. There he is. Coming for you. Their hands look weird. They don't seem to have thumbs. They have five fingers, but they don't seem to have thumbs. Maybe have, they have three fingers and two thumbs. I don't know. Nope. Good. The ding didn't uh, alert him. Okay, strong medicine. I need to make some more of that. Make a nice, healthy supply. Yes, Trode, I'm on to something. Literally something that I have made multiple times. Peekaboo! The Potty Dragon appears! Alright, Dragon Slash. Knuckle Sandwich. Twin Dragon Lash. And let's try Sandman's Arrow. Ow! Alright, I need a heal. Alright, 50. Is he put to sleep? No. Okay. Wow, she got off before the, uh, the heal. Okay. 
Okay, good. We all quickly brush the sand away. Keep dragon slashing, keep knuckle sandwiching. You know what? Oomph is probably better. Let's come up. Nice! 107 damage now with Oomph. So yeah, you can see that this guy uh, should be pretty good for us. Whoops. Goofed up. I meant to have her use something else, and I hit the wrong cancel. Cup off it again is fine. There we go. The Potty Dragon is defeated. Each party member receives 374 experience points, 53 gold coins. Potty Dragon drops a treasure chest. Aldo opens it up. What? It contains a silver monster coin. Aldo puts a silver monster coin into the bag. The Potty Dragon rises up again. The Potty Dragon looks at the party with respect. Do you wish to add it to your monster team members? 509 hit points. So a pot belly, the potty dragon, jargon, dragon family, 174 attack, 113 defense, 82 agility. So he's still pretty fast, despite all that. We are definitely taking him. Potty dragon, aka pot belly, joins Ald's team. All right. Actually, I should have mid healed. All right, zoom on over to the Riverside Chapel. So it's nighttime, we can get to the other one. No, can't see him yet. Not a big fan of the time-based ones, but... <clears throat> what are you gonna do? Slime Knight and Heal Slime. Well, guess what? Get intimidated. down here, probably around this corner. Hopefully it stays nighttime. Some kissers appear. Go ahead and intimidate them. There he is. Coming for you. Gotcha! The Phantom of the Chopra appears. Love these names. All right, Flame Slash, Knuckle Sandwich. Let's go with Spells right off the bat. Oomph on Ald. And we will go with Kabuff. <laughs> Ouch! Oh god! Alright, I was not expecting him to do that much damage. I was not expecting him to do that much damage. Oh jeez. We may not survive this one. Um, you know what? Just in case. Saving uh, state so that I can flee if I do not survive this, so I do not lose a ton of money. I was not expecting that much damage. 
Let's come off again. 75. Okay. He's fast. Good. Whew. I got incredibly lucky there. Alright. Didn't even need that uh, last oomph. The Phantom of the Chopra is defeated. Each party member receives 219 experience points. How that is worth less than the Potty Dragon, I don't know. 39 gold coins. Phantom of the Chopra drops a treasure chest. Ald opens it up. What? It contains a gold monster coin. Ald puts the gold monster coin into the bag. Phantom of the Chopra rises up again. Phantom of Chopra looks at you, the party with respect. Do you wish to add him to your monster team members? Capers! Phantom of the Chopra. Or Phantom of Chopra. Uh, Phantom Fencer, Zombie Family, 306 hit points. Uh, no MP, 203 attack, 91 defense, and 99 agility. Yeah, yeah, we're taking him. Oh, we're taking him, alright. Phantom of Chopra, aka Capers, joins Ald's team. You know what? Just heal all. Thank you. All right. So let's see about our team. All right. So Capers is probably better than Hackzilla, but... Like, Hazel was pretty good, too. So we're kind of in... Oops. Yes. Like, we've got some... We've got some really nice, uh... Choices here. But those hit points on, on Potbelly... Really good. His attack is fantastic. Oops. Wrong thing. Alright, you know what? I think what we're gonna do is try another tier. Because if we can get as much as we can out of uh, the Monster Arena, then we, we're gonna have some really nice... Uh, Really nice um, rewards in our pockets. Let's go ahead and get a save first. Any time now, game. I didn't need to use that save state in case I needed to flee uh, choppers or capers, not choppers, capers. But yeah, very, very good one uh, to get right about now. Well, let's go ahead and enter to rank C. I'm pretty sure we cannot do rank A with this team. Time to get it on! Like, they do get... Ladies and gentlemen, the Monster Arena is proud to present a Rank C Battle! They do get uh, even more powerful, Let's so... Let's give the team owners a big hand. The first round is about to begin. In the red corner, 
we have our Heroes Monster Team. The Pickle Bashers. In the blue corner, captained by Coral, we have the Beach Babes. I don't know if the two on the side would be considered babes. It's a fight so tight, even Lady Luck don't know what to write. Let's get it on! And bang a gong. Fight it out. Sea Urchin draws near, Siren draws near, and the Sea Urchin draws near. All right. Well, we got a lot of hit points and a lot of damage from Capers. A lot of damage from Capers. Cloud of Sand. Brushes it away, brushes it away, brushes it away. Okay. Well. Oh, no. No Puff Puffs. Capers, how can you have a huge grin on your face? You have no face. I demand a recount. All right, Siren psychs herself up. She only seems to have one attack. All right, there goes one sea urchin. Nice. Nice damage. Excellent. Quickly brushes the sand away, yep. Attack for six whole damage. Good dodge there. Does the sultry dance. Good. Capers doesn't catch the uh, dancing bug. 26. Potbelly spews f flame breath. I should have done this early on. She has really good defense. But not enough. We have a winner. It's Pickle Bashers. Congratulations to all. Darn right. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the fans are going absolutely wild. <laughs> I saw what we're going to face. Now, it's time for round two of the Rank C contest. The teams are ready to go. The fans are ready to go. Heck, I'm ready to go. Let's hear it for round two. In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team. The Pickle Bashers. In the blue corner, captained by Crazy Inventor, Mad Scientist Spawn, it's Bad Science. <laughs> it's a historic hoedown of a showdown. Let's get it on. And bang a gong. Mecha Mina, Me Hunter Mech, and uh, the other one. 27 damage. Okay, 52 against that. Okay, all right. That's not too shabby. 68 against Hackzilla. Oh, my lord. Clockwork Cuckoo, 55. Okay, yeah. Uh, I was right to be worried. Good. One down. Yeah, go ahead and attack him. He's got a lot of hit points. Good. That's good. I like it. Let's see more. Ooh, he got a lot of hit points. Okay, yep. Go after him. It's a lot of damage, but... There we go. All right. Good. 78. Very nice. Nice dodge. Flame Breath, not that great. Just a regular attack would have been better. Nah. Yeah, nice. I wasn't sure if that was an actual kill. We have a winner. It's Pickle Bashers. Congratulations to all. Ladies and gentlemen. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the final round. The winner of this epic battle will walk away as the Rank C Monster Arena Champion. In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team. The Pickle Bashers. In the blue corner, 
captained by Countess Christie, a noble cause, it's Battle Royals! I do not like having a capers versus capers fight. Down into the pit they go. Which side wins? Nobody knows. Let's get it on! Banger gong! Alright. Fencing Fox, Bone Baron, and... Uh... Alright. Alright, good choice, good choice. Ow! Phantom Fencer. A lot of damage. Okay, 40 damage is not too shabby. I can take that. Good. Oof. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh, well. Down goes Hackzilla. Yeah, he's uh, not really... Uh, he is the one not holding his uh, own in this group so far, I think. But I think we can do this. I think we can... Oof. Oof. All right, maybe not. Actually, this is gonna be this is gonna be tight. Oh yeah. I may not actually get through this one. Draws a crest in the air, and nope, nope. They're a noble cause. It's battle royals. Congratulations to Countess Christie. Okay. All right, we need to come back a little bit later, I think. Bad luck, but maybe things will go your way next time. You fight a nice game, ragazzo. You make the good challenge, eh? You don't feel sad just because you lose, okay? You have to lose to make the team stronger. And I have given the life back to your dead team members. Don't be throwing away the tower. I am waiting with the bad breath for your next battle, ragazzo. Alrighty, all right. There goes some money, but I feel like that was pretty close. I mean, not like super duper close, but if luck had gone a little bit more in our direction, um, I think we reload. Just so I don't spend that money. All right. Oops. Come on. No. Yes, I'm sure. All right. So I will reload. That way we don't lose that money. Like, I don't mind losing the money if we eventually win, but uh, I, I don't know that I'm going to do that with the current party. I think I need, like... Hackzilla, I, I either need more levels, or Hackzilla needs to be replaced. One or the other. Uh, and I'm not sure which one is really going to be um, the best choice at the moment. So It's neither here nor there, really. But we'll go ahead and continue on with the story now, since I've uh, defeated all of the available... Um, Famous Monsters, I believe. But that will be for next time. See you then, everyone.